But yes, what does it say that two of the largest economies in Africa ha- are not on board yet on the CFT? That that is not right, you know, and I think that's why we have to share information <laughs> extensively. Um, all the countries that you are referring to, namely South Africa and Nigeria, I suppose, um, signed on the declaration, on the Kigali Declaration, which was the political commitment to the integration of Africa. Um, the requirements, the legal requirements within both countries are that you first uh, uh, engage and process any international agreement before you sign it. And so what we are expecting is that uh, uh, sooner or later, both countries are going to be signing on the CFTA because indeed they signed on the political c- c- declaration in Kigali. So we are all on board to, to answer you in a rather short way. And uh, uh, the excitement in Kigali, and if you listen to the um, to the contribution of President Ramaphosa, it was very, mm. very clear. Mm. And I think the, the starting point must be uh, the vision of the African continent and the way we write it. We are seeking, we are pursuing a peaceful, prosperous, integrated Africa. And this makes the CFTA the single most important tool towards that vision. So we are on board and uh, there should be no worries about anyone not being on board. How do we ensure that our own are not phased out for either cheaper labor from abroad or um, multinationals from uh, even from other African countries that prefer to give jobs to their own jobs that can be done on this con- in this country? There is a very elaborate um, a system as far as uh, a provision of uh, work permit is concerned mm. within the Department of Immigration. And uh, as a matter of policy, the policy is very clear. For example, we do not have 100% ownership of companies. Mm. You know, you have to have a Kenyan partnership in it. You have to have what we call the local content. Yes. And I'm sure you had this debate even with the SGR. Very much so. Uh, There are also, we do not uh, uh, offer work permits for positions that can be uh, executed by Kenyans as a matter of policy. And this, again, is in terms of of protecting uh, the Kenyan uh, uh, skill sets so that we are able to provide the skill sets that we are trained for. Now, having said that, I think it is also important to underscore that our labor uh, is very competitive, you know, and we are able actually to fit in very many other uh, job markets. And, And you can look wherever you go, whether it is in South Africa, in Nigeria, in Kenyans are able to compete effectively internationally actually i know a number of kenyans in very uh, e- exclusive exclusive establishments whether you're talking about space science establishment of the world whether it is in the us whether it is in india you still find kenyans there so we we are having a labor force that is globally competitive but we are also having a, a an infrastructure an architecture that protects uh, any jobs that can be done by Kenyans so that they are not found out to non-Kenyans. Mm. And that is as a matter of policy. It's a matter of institutional framework. Yes. And just to confirm to the Kenyans that uh, we are intent on uh, uh, commencing the ratification process immediately. Mm. We expect the cabinet memorandum to go into cabinet soon, probably within the week, okay. and to move on to parliament. So we hope that we can put our signature of ratification very soon because President Uhuru Kenya objective is to remain part of the leadership that pushes for Africa's integration. Thank you so very much, CS. Wakanda forever. Thank Here you. We come. Wakanda and forever. Beyond. <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the top of the hour right now. Emirates, watch up to 3,000 channels of in-flight entertainment, then see Hollywood in Los Angeles. Good morning.